Um, today is Sunday, it's May 31st, and uh, I just got back from Cinque Terre yesterday. And now, two of my friends, Faye and Sammy, who I went to Cinque Terre, are leaving. And it's really weird because everyone now is like, all my friends are gone. And I'm the only one in Italy. And it's just really weird. It's weird because it's all ending and everyone's going back. Um, and it feels so short and I only have two weeks until I go back to the US. And it's incredible that four months have gone by so quickly. I've learned a lot and grown a lot and it's weird. Ah, yeah, so I'm moving out of Arcabalona today, my dorm for the past four months. And I'm gonna be going to Naples and then back to Milan for a couple days and staying like in a hostel or a hotel. And I'm going back home. So I'm going to Naples by myself for eight days. Woo! What is life? This is Portici, which is the town I'm staying in for eight days. And it's near Naples. It's so weird because it feels so much different than northern Italy. So this is kind of in the center of Italy and it's like less fashionable, more like the US. And it's way more dirty, but just way more chill and people are cooler. So it's interesting. So this is Portici, Italy. Whoa! Oh, you can't really see it. It's the sun and it's beautiful. And there's all these people out there on the dock. And I've got a pizza that I'm gonna consume. I didn't get any sleep. And I'm just gonna think about my study abroad experience and last couple of days, I just went on a trip. And just think about life, you know? Like, oh, how awesome is that? What is life right now? It's pretty awesome. So beautiful. I'm definitely gonna miss eating pizzas like these back when I get to the States. It's only five euros! Can you say yes? Yes! This is my awesome maple pizza. Oh, this is good. Just went to this pizza in Mikel's. Oh my god, it was so good. And I got a whole pizza for four euros. Like a normal size one, which is gigantic. So cheap! My whole meal was six euros, because this coat was two euros. I love Naples. It's the Naples Cathedral. And it's basically like a dorm room, except less cool. this whole church was financed by the mafia because it's so over the top it's like one of the most over the top churches I've seen besides the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican but it's really pretty Hello. these are Naples streets or alleys or whatever basically in a nutshell and these little shops and stuff Yep, I can't find my tour guide, so I'm walking around the cave by myself. Yay! Hopefully there's no ghosts! Yay! So this used to be the Palace of Justice back in 500 AD, 6th century. And the, although there was a duke that ruled the area of Napoli, um, they had democratic representation. And so this was like the palace, there was a palace area. And then this walkway is where like the shop. So that was a laundry place. And this is a bakery, which is really cool. So basically, Napoli is one giant flea market. Maddie would have loved this. So this street right here, which is right near the underground church I walked, is like 
Pizza Lane. So Bio is like a really famous pizza place um, that hopefully I'll go to tonight. This is Michelin Star. And this is where all like the really famous pizzas and good pizzas you can find are. Oh, look at these desserts. Oh my god. These baba things are, but they're really popular here. They look great. Just kidding. So this crowded ass place is Sevilla. A huge mine crowd. Oh man, look at all this fruit. My watermelon cup. Yes. Right now, I think I'm in the Santa Chiara Church. And the garden is beautiful. Is this what heaven's like? I'm pretty sure this is someone's leg. But I don't know what it is because it doesn't say. And even if it did, it would be in Italian. I wouldn't understand it anyways. Yay! This used to be a bathhouse. And I think these are hot springs. And I'm glad they don't exist anymore because it's already freaking hot in Naples. They wouldn't need it. What a very weird building. It's really pointy. And here's a thing. More markets! This is just market heaven. Maddie, you missed out. So right now I'm in the Piazza del Plebiscito and the Royal Palace and this is a large square in the city and I think this is the Royal Palace that's under construction which is typical for Italy. Actually also. It's so cool! It's huge! So I'm just chilling at the church. There's the palace and there's just this army truck that's circling the whole time and it's a little bit kind of freaky but also kind of funny. It's just by itself, and that's all it's been doing this whole time. This is the Castle Nuovo, which is kind of near the palace, it's really close. And it was built in the 13th century and reconstructed in the 15th century. This is literally the best lemonade drink I've ever had. It's like two years and it's tiny, but it's so good! And it's so hot here, I have to drink so much shit. I mean, so many liquids. I'm about to head into the tunnel for Bourbon, which is the tunnel that was built and used during the war to use like a rage culture. Um, so, yeah, we get to go on in. I'm super excited. I think I'm only American on the American tour. Huh? They were looking for a bombing bird, a siren, an alarm, and they had maximum 10 minutes to run. This is Naples, and it's beautiful, and that's the Egg Castle that I'm going to try to go to today. I don't know if it's closed. I can't tell. This is Naples, and it's so pretty. Look how close Mount Vesuvius is. So close. I'm going to climb it like a tree tomorrow. So right now I'm doing a guided tour. And then I'm at Pompeii. We're just about to start. We're not in Pompeii yet. But I'm really excited to be in Pompeii. It apparently it takes five hours, so I have the whole day and then I'm gonna climb out the shoes. The shape of the chariot that were larger than the block and higher than the block. But you know, in this. Is but keep in mind that uh, in a big building so like this one, we have a two separate sections. You can take a fast look here in the room. Huh? with the big one because she was right here to catch the client in competition with the big one okay
Good luck, however, but in this case, uh, this is a street sign. It's a, an indication uh, to reach the main street. Point uh, in this direction. So it's like to say, okay, please, ladies and gentlemen, follow me this way, because uh, right in front of you, that way, that is the seat, the port, and the way to get inside the city by the port. So this is the entrance for sailors. First point of view, first point of interest was the red light district, okay? Close to the, to the main square. The representation of the public fountain is a famous face with the horn of plenty. See this in the background. It's huge. Holy crap, it's so hot. This is so well preserved. It's kind of at the north end of Pompeii. And it's like not village, but it's like this building kind of far off from the other main buildings. It's really well preserved. These are the roads in Pompeii. It's like hiking. No other way is like hiking. My feet hurt so bad. The ground is so bumpy that when you walk, everyone, it literally just looks down. No one's looking up because you have to make sure you don't die. That's how bad it is. That's how sad it is. Finally shade. Finally. Oh, it's so hot here. 